In this video, I'm going to take you through how to install Drupal using MAMP as your local web host. To begin, you're going to want to download Drupal from drupal.org downloads. I've already done this and I've also extracted the folder. So what I can do now is I'm going to locate where I have MAMP on my local disk and I'm going to navigate to the HT docs and I'm going to drag and drop the Drupal folder over into HT docs. Now, when you're working with MAMP, it's going to be a little bit different as far as setting up our database. We're actually going to also create an account to go with the database. Before we dive in, though, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead here and rename this. We'll call this coffee. So I'm going to make a Drupal site about coffee. Now, once I've done this, I can go ahead here. Remember with MAMP, you can click to open the web start page and under tools, you can go to PHP my admin. Now, I have some uh, databases already over here and previously there were ways that we could just create and use the root name of the user accounts. However, for this one, for this specific Drupal site, we're going to create a new user account that is going to be tied to the specific database for Drupal. So first off, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to user accounts. You can see already I have several user accounts, including the old reliable root that we have been using several times. One of the issues with root though, or setting global privileges for accounts to be all privileges, is that these specific accounts will affect all the databases that you currently have active in PHP MyAdmin. Let's say that maybe I want to actually have an account that is specific to my Drupal Coffee website. So to begin, I would do add user accounts. Now, under username, I'm just going to use a text field. So maybe I call this DuPont Drupal. And with that in mind, under the host name, we don't want this to be any host. We still actually want to tie this to the local. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to write a password. Again, since this is specific to us and local, I'm going to make just a really short password. You, because you're entering in a password, two things. Number one, we can leave the authentication plugin as is, but also number two, I can't generate a password. Lastly, the last thing you're going to want to do here is create a database with the same name and grant all privileges. This is the easiest way. So what will happen here is this specific account that I'm generating is going to be tied to a specific database. So I'm going to scroll down here and then I'm going to tell it to go. Notice now it should pop up and tell you that you have added a new user. You can double check this by going to user accounts and there you can not only see the DuPont Drupal account, but also now you can see over in my PHP MI admin, I now have a database tied to that. I'm now ready to go ahead here that I can go into localhost and I'll go ahead and choose coffee. And it should now give me the option here that I can actually begin to set up my Drupal account. So there we go. So working with MAMP, the first thing I'm going to do is tell it, pick my language and save and continue. From here, I'm going to go ahead and choose the profile and I'm going to leave it at standard again. I'm going to go ahead and save and continue. And similar to the version whenever I talked about it in XAMPP, here we have that caching issue that it's not enabled. Because of what we're doing as far as this course, and it's more of an overview course, we're not having to worry about as far as memory limits and things like that. So you can scroll to the bottom and at least for now, we can choose to continue anyways. Now, here is where we're going to need the database name. So once again, I made DuPont Drupal. So I'll go ahead, which is also the same name as the username. And then I'm going to put in my password that I generated for the account. 
At this point, I can save and continue. And Drupal's going to think for a little bit here. And then Drupal's going to start the installation process for you. Now, here we are again. Let's go ahead and put in our site name. So I could say like Coffee Emporium. I'll use my regular and I'm going to use Dr. D. And again, you can come through here. You're going to pick your country, you know, things like that. And the only thing I uncheck is the receive email notifications. Save and continue. And congratulations, your site is now configured and set up, and it should be ready to use. And yep, there we go. So you get the congratulations, you installed Drupal, and now you can go through and start editing and building out your Drupal site.